we're in a pretty dire situation right now. Ooh. Okay, let's see. Oh, just about able to get over. You cannot defeat the acolytes. Combo. Combo. Yeah, who's next? Just what I need. All right. Okay. Okay, luckily Cyclops leveled up, so he gained a bunch of health back that way. I think. Get back up! Come on! Ah, oh, damn them! Oh boy. Ooh, guys, guys. Oh, another danger room disc. Oh, I think another challenge for Storm. Okay, two for her then. Okay, what did that do? It just put out the fire. I guess so. Okay, now to the conversion sequencer. And you know what? Let's uh, switch out some characters as well. For some more healthy ones. Ah, here we go. So we're up above. Yes. Storm. Uh, oh, maybe I need to blow it closed first and then weld it shut. Okay. Can I drop down? Nope. Okay. Go around and probably do the same for the other side. like so blown closed and welded you have my gratitude comrades you're very welcome colossus and what happened here it was magneto and the brotherhood and yet he called the group his acolytes and there was one other man i did not recognize he manipulated the radiation so that Magneto would not be harmed while he was within the reactor. What was Magneto doing inside the reactor? I overheard the Acolyte say he was creating some type of material that generated gravitic ions. Gravitic ions? We have to get this information to Professor X. Peter, you're welcome to tag along. I am sorry, my friends. But my sister, Ilyana, has fallen ill. I cannot leave her side. Oh, come on. We could take her to Muir Island. Perhaps Moira and Forge could help her. A most excellent idea, comrades. This should be the care she requires. Let us go immediately. Ah, <laughs> good. For a second there, I thought he was going to not join us. That would be a travesty. And, once again, mission accomplished, but we're not done yet. Mutant Research Center, Muir Island. Peter, I promise you, I'll do all that's humanly possible to save her. But this is a most unusual case. I've looked for viruses, parasites, and tissue damage. But I can't find anything wrong with her. I do not understand. 
Peter, there is no physical reason she should be in a coma. And to make matters worse, her body has begun to shut down. Doctor, please, I beg of you. Don't give up hope. I've asked Forge to see if he can create a life support system to keep your sister alive. Do you think he will succeed? Knowing Forge, he's putting the finishing touches on the device as we speak. What's wrong with her? Ah, a new X-Man, eh? Where does Charles find such splendid people? What can I do for you, lass? Are you Dr. Moira McTaggart? Aye, that's me. I run the Mutant Research Center here on Muir Island. Are you a mutant? No. But my son Kevin was. The poor lad. What happened to him? I believe in his case, his mutation truly was a curse. It drove him to madness. He escaped the research center and went on a killing spree. The X-Men had no choice but to destroy him. What is this place? This is the Mutant Research Center. From here, I study mutant genetics and aid the Xavier Institute whenever and however I can. How'd you come to be involved with the X-Men? Charles and I were very good friends back in college. What's wrong with Ileana? I honestly don't know. Her body's shutting down for no apparent reason. Perhaps it has something to do with her X gene. What's an X gene? That's the gene that gives mutants their special abilities. So, one little gene is the cause of all this trouble between humans and mutants? I, I suppose you could say that. And not even a mention of, sorry the X-Men had to kill your son. She just finished telling that story and immediately on to, so what is this place? <laughs> Alright, bye bye Goodbye, Doctor. Goodbye, lass. So, a new place to explore, a new base to hang out in, that probably also means another little quiz I can undertake to earn some extra experience points. I think I'll just cut all that out though. <laughs> oh, multiple man, you're being held here. Hey, you. Uh, don't be afraid. Would you mind talking to me a little while? You wouldn't by any chance be a mutant, would you? Sure am. I'm Jamie Madrix, a.k.a. Multiple Man. But floating here, I feel more like Lilypad Man. <laughs> Very funny. What's your mutant power? Duplicates of me are created whenever my body experiences any sort of impact. Even something as simple as snapping my fingers. Needless to say, I'd never lose in a boxing match. Why are you floating in that vat? Uh, this is a Liptide bath. I'm soaking in it to regain my strength after battling the Brotherhood. Guess I kind of uh, overextended myself and lost control of my clones. So you have trouble controlling your powers too? Hey, who doesn't every once in a while? We're mutants, not machines. There's no cutoff switch that automatically gets thrown when we go past our limit. Huh, so is he trying to trick us and he's actually held prisoner there, or is he a good guy in this? You fought the Brotherhood? Yeah, well, I had some help from Forge and Moira, but, uh, yeah, I fought them. They did a lot of damage to the facility. Forge is still trying to sort things out. Bye. Hope you feel better soon. Thanks. I, uh, I'm feeling better already. He's still got an exclamation mark over his head. Ooh, thank goodness you're back. I was getting bored. No extra information, though. Bye. Hope you feel better soon. Maybe I'll find out something else from someone else. And then I can head back to him. Maybe. Ok, 
Okay, giant room. Let's make sure to circle all the way around it. Okay, there's another place I can go to there. Unfortunately, I can't jump or anything whilst I'm in a safe house, so I have to actually run around the railings. Can't just jump over them and down to the ground. Oh, there's you, Forge. Okay, let's just see what's in the center of... Ah, so this is probably to access a new mission, maybe? I can't use it at all. All right, then. Let's get the big map up. Okay, Forge. Tell me more about you. Computer. Shut down the power grids in the 3rd, 4th, and 8th sectors. Invalid. Command. Ah! I made you! I can break you, you chunk of... Uh... Uh... Oh. Oh. Hi. Yes. My name's Forge. What can I do for you? Hi. I'm Allison. I mean... I'm Magma. Don't act like you didn't know we were here. You turned around and started shouting that in our face. Nice workshop you have here. Thanks. I use it to build any new equipment Dr. McTaggart might require. You see, I have the ability to build any type of machine. That's got to be... The weirdest mutant power you've ever heard of, yes, I know. Everybody says that, until they need me to build a machine for them, that is. <laughs> Are you having trouble with your computer? Ever since the Brotherhood stormed through here, the mainframe's been acting flaky. It's constantly turning systems on and off, won't take any of my commands. Say, could I ask a big favor of you? Like what? Would you mind manually rebooting the Institute's supercomputer? I need it to program the life support system I built for Ileana. Rebooting a supercomputer sounds pretty technical. <laughs> There's nothing to it. I do it myself, but I have to be here when the mainframe comes online. I'll... I'll help out, but not right now, because I'm betting the Brotherhood has left some surprises there, and that's why things aren't working properly. I'll come back later, Forge. See you then. Yeah, let me explore the place first. And level up, and... Get some more health potions. Okay, doesn't seem to be much I can actually interact with here apart from characters. I know it was you, Alex. What have you gotten yourself into? Look, all I ask is that you meet me. You couldn't have picked a worse time. Scott, you really need to see this for yourself. Then you'll understand. I don't know. I need to... Hope to see you there, Scott. I've got to go. Bye. Bye, Alex. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. You didn't. If you don't mind my asking, who was that? Someone who needs a swift kick. <laughs> oh, okay, can't talk to you anymore about anything at all. Okay, I think that's actually everything. Back to Forge I go. Let's do a once over, make sure there aren't any extra compartments I can actually enter. No, it seems like all the doors are actually locked off to me at the moment. Oh, there's Colossus. How did I miss you? My friend Wolverine tells me you are Magma, a recent addition to the X-Men. I am Colossus. Who are you? I am Pyotr Nikolaevich Rasputin, or simply Peter Rasputin as my English-speaking friends call me. From your accent, I take it you're Russian. Da, 
There is no greater country or more beautiful land on this earth. Ah, how I love the splendor of Mother Russia. You almost sound like a poet. Me? A poet? Yet. But I do love to paint. It is a passion of mine. How were you able to hold up that regulator back at the nuclear plant? I am able to transform my body into an organic metal that grants me incredible strength, as well as the ability to withstand high temperatures. Wow, that's amazing. Perhaps, but I still enjoy my flesh and blood form. It is only then that I am truly able to sweat and put my back into my work. I'm very sorry to hear about your sister's illness. I too am sorry, but I refuse to give up on my sister. To lose Iliana would be more than I could bear. Take care, Colossus. Thank you, Alison. And of course, that was how he first discovered his powers. Sister about to be run over, sliced her bits at the farm, and he just leapt in the way. Okay. Let's level up and go to the danger room, get some potions before I head to that mainframe and am um, inevitably attacked. Oh, <laughs> there is no option to go to the danger room. Alright, uh, not a lot to actually do here. Let's undertake this forge mission. If it even is a mission, maybe I'm worrying over nothing and it's just going to be a case of hit some buttons and reactivate the mainframe and you're done. But come on, the Brotherhood must have left some nasty surprises behind, right? Hi, Magma. What's up? Sure, I'd love to help out. What do I do? Go to the primary core. Once you're there, Contact me over the radio, and I'll walk you through the steps to rebooting the computer. Okay, Forge. I found the primary core. What should I do now? Wait a second, Allison. I just found out I can't shut down the computer defense systems. They'll attack anything that moves in there. Maybe I should get one of the other X-Men to handle this. There's no time to waste, Forge. Ileana will die without your help. And you can't help her until this computer is working. I have to agree, Allison. Time is running out. You're very brave to do this. Nah, I'm just looking forward to a good fight. <laughs> You're starting to sound like Wolverine. Okay, Allison. Move into the room, and I'll talk you through the steps to rebooting the computer. Okay, so it's not even that the Brotherhood has left anything nasty behind. It's Forge's own defenses. First, you need to raise the bridge to get to the primary controls. There should be a control panel near the bridge. Okay, activate a control panel. And yep, look at all these defenses coming out to play. Ah, okay. With my fiery fists, I'm actually able to do more damage just hitting them. rather than using my powers. Okay, so let's explore up above before I go down there to that electrified death trap. The bridge won't go up. I'll have to clear it off first. Okay. Be careful, Allison. No problem. Piece of cake. Just wreck every single enemy in the room keep on flinging them around like they're nothing and this will all be nice and easy okay guys oh you know what just realized there's only three of them so never mind but just realized Allison is able to do a big old super move and we have an extreme counter 
or whatever the token is that we picked up. So, once we get into the next room, I think we'll just unleash hell. Napalm the lot of them. Can't I use this yet? Do I need to smash things up down here? And this doesn't seem to be electrifying me, it's perfectly fine. Hmm. Okay, so I needed to clear the bridge. Oh, there we go. So that was a little bit weaker than the rest of the structure. Okay, let me try getting as many robots attention. Oh, there's just three in this room as well. Oh well, let's just use the big move to see what it does. Very nice. 